One, two, three. This feels so cool! Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this week, this video is actually a con crunch vlog. So I'm sorry if this is shaking, I'm holding it above my head. So this vlog is going to be a collection of clips that I did throughout the month of September as I was preparing for Comic-Con. So I did three cosplays that I had a hand in kind of doing stuff for. Um, my last one, Meg mostly did, as you will see in the next video um, when I actually go to Comic-Con. So I fully made Evie, I altered Anya, and then made some alterations on Black Widow as well. So you will see all of that. You will see some just random clips that I had over the process. It probably won't be super interesting, but this is the life of a cosplayer. So if you want to know what it's like, this is what it is. So let's get going. Hey guys. So this is going to be part of my con crunch with me video. I just got a big delivery today. I got all the things. I'm so excited. Um, I got three things in the mail. I'm going to open them on camera. So this first one is Anya's necklace. I'm really excited. I'll like show you guys my address. <gasps> this isn't what I thought it was. Oh my God. So I won a contest a while back from Broadway Goes Pop. I got a bunch of Six the Musical stuff. It was a little giveaway for um, Six. It was her and Broadway Brick. So I got a bunch of stickers of the uh, Lego Queens. But look at this. I didn't think I got these two. They just came in and it's stickers in Funko Pop form of all of the Queens. Oh my God. If you know me, you love how, you know how much I love Six. So this makes me so happy. I didn't like think I was getting these. These are so cute. Thank you so much. Surprise, surprise mail. But so this little guy, I know what this is. This is Puka. So I decided if I was gonna do Anya, she needed her little pupper because two of the best parts of that movie are Puka and Bartok. And so I knew I needed him. Oh, he's so cute. I had to order this off eBay because he is from 1997 and they don't make these anymore. And <gasps> look at him. Oh, my little guy. He's got his little tail and his mohawk. He's so cute. We got Natasha Robidoff, the Black Widow. I am so excited. I ordered this in August. I think I'm gonna need scissors to get her out. I got this suit. Oh, here are her accessories. There we go. Oh, all her accessories and stuff. And my suit. My suit. If any of you follow me on TikTok and saw the TikTok I posted of, where's my super suit? It has arrived. So I'm gonna go try this on. Okay, so I have it on and I'm not, I'm filming the floor right now because I wanna get my genuine reaction when I see it for the first time. And so I'm going to the bathroom. I'm gonna cover my eyes and put you guys up to the mirror. I think you're in the mirror. Yeah, I kinda see. All right, one, two, three. This feels so cool. Yeah? Okay. What's in your hand? Natasha, the other half of her. Oh, cat. hello. Oh, hello. Thank you. Yay, my hat's back. Hello. Wow, that looks really pretty. Yay. Right, now we're gonna put her on and see if I can do this without seeing it. <laughs> Come on in. 
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Thing with Ashton's wigs. Ah! <laughs> So we, we you pinned it down a little bit, oh um, just to make it form your head a bit, yeah. and we pulled one little wispy mm -hmm. just to get the frame, mm -hmm. and it looks so good. Yeah. It's so nice. Thank you so much, Ashen, for doing this for me. I don't know, guys, if she's going to put this up on the store, but go spam her if you really like it. Yeah. I'm sure if she gets enough, like, want for it, she will. Uh, she and her boyfriend hand dyed all of this like, with Copic markers and oh my god I think she said it was like 50 plus hours of just like both coloring. of them just going and I'm just like yes Woo! So like, can, we, can we just like appreciate this all the yeah. way back here can well we I want I want to show from the front yeah so it starts with like even just a dark root like right here the lace isn't even like fully cut mm -hmm. and it still looks me and then it goes yeah. into this like bright orangey red then to an orange and then finally into her blonde because who in the costume department designed this we have no idea but it looks amazing the snack hey oh auntie alex hi i think he likes it hi hi goose Hey guys, so just continuing uh, the video from earlier today, so sorry I have red eyebrows because I had Nat on earlier, so I had to obviously make my eyebrows orange to match her hair. So right now, I'm sitting at my kitchen table, I'm having a cup of tea, and working on Evie. If you guys have been following my Insta story, you have seen the pro uh, progress that I have made today. But I'm gonna go show you guys what I've been doing all day. I haven't been filming it because I've been kind of like in the zone and going from there. So let me show you guys. So these are my Eevee ears so far. I have them made out of foam. I have one side of them painted right now. I'm waiting for it to dry. And then the other side, they're sitting on. I have floral wire in them to help them stand up and also attach them to the headband. I'll probably cut this down, but um, it's easy to hold on to him for now while I'm painting. So I've got those there. And then over here, I've got my mask for the Renaissance Fair. That's drying. I just um, spray painted that. Sorry, my stickers from Fix are still over here. Um, just going to give a shout out to my roommate for being absolutely wonderful and not caring that I take over the kitchen table for projects like this. So shout out to her, she is amazing. So I'm gonna wait for these to dry, probably do another coat of this light brown on the back, let that dry, and then flip it over and do it again on the other side. Let's see how much of this I can get done tonight. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Ah! Uh... Okay, so now that that's out of the way. Um, tomorrow begins Comic-Con. I'm wearing my glasses today, so I'm sorry if there's any glare because I'm trying to avoid my contacts for a little while, basically just because I've been wearing them so much and my eyes get really tired of them. So we're wearing the glasses today to prep for contacts all weekend. So there's that. Um, my Eevee ears are finished. I don't think I've shown them to you. They're completely done. Hold on, I'll see if I can do this one-handed. Oh, I kind of can. There we go. Watch me struggle. Yep. So I have Eevee ears. They're all done. I love them. I think they came out really good. And it's a testament uh, to how comfortable these actually are because I put some hot glue you know, up in here so they don't poke me. But I was talking to my roommate last night while I was making them or like finishing them up and I put them on my head. And I walked around the apartment for a good like five, 10 minutes before I remembered that they were on my head. So I think we'll be good for tomorrow. So today mostly I am uh, running just a bunch of errands to get ready for tomorrow. I have to go to the mall and get some makeup stuff that I've run out of so I can have it for this weekend. Um, also gonna make a stop in Lush so I can get some face masks to prep my face for this weekend because it's gonna be a lot. And yeah, I also have to drop off my wig to Meg because she is going to do Anya, so she needs her bang. So yep, gotta drop that off. And 
Then I'll probably come home and work on Natasha a little bit. She doesn't really need much, but I'm gonna be making like some little adjustments to her. Possibly taking in the suit a little bit. Oh, that's my breakfast. Uh, possibly taking in the suit a little bit, mostly just adding some Velcro to the belt so it can like fit me better. But yeah, so I'm gonna go eat my breakfast and we're gonna get a move on. Bye. All right, so first errand of the day, run. Um, went to the Rite Aid down the street. I'm gonna show you guys two of the most important things for a con like this. Vitamin C. We are prepping early. I am not getting sick. And God forbid, I do get sick, but I also use this as a preventative measure. I have Zycam because this stuff is amazing. I love the ones that can go in your nose because the throat sprays make me gag. I can't do, I can't do throat sprays or like liquid meds. Oh, wow. I can't do it. But anyway, so it shortens your cold and also helps kind of prevent them. So I'm going to be starting these today, taking them all throughout the weekend to just kind of make sure that I don't get screwed up. So I'm in my car now, getting ready to head towards Meg's place and the mall. Um, just a note to the lady who was pulling out of the driveway of my complex parking lot and saw me just holding this. I'm not a weirdo, I swear. The look on your face was very questionable, but I am not a weirdo, I promise. This is not a scalp, it is my own hair. So, two and a half hours later, I'm finally at the mall, um, dropped Anya off with Meg, and as I was pulling out of Meg's uh, parking lot for her apartment, my car stalled. And, oh, I'm looking really blonde in this light, dang. Okay, back on topic. My car stalled, check engine light came on. Great, cool, lovely. Had to drive around and figure out what was wrong with that. Took it to a Jiffy Lube, they ran it. They said it was this specific thing, um, and I had to bring it to the Ford, because uh, I drive a Ford. I had to bring it to the Ford dealership for them to fix it. So, anyway, I get back in my car after they've done the diagnostics and the light has turned off. But basically I was like, hey, did you do that? Or did the car do that? And she's like, I didn't do that. So I'm not sure what it is. I'd still go to the Ford dealership and get it checked out. And so I went to the Ford dealership, drove there. And mind you, like my car's running like pretty normal, but still wanna go get it checked out cause that's a scary thing. Um, and get there and they're like, well, we actually can't do anything unless the light is on because we can't diagnose what is wrong without there being like a thing in the computer system that makes the light turn on. I'm like, uh, okay. So basically they sent me on my way and they're like, well, if the light comes back on, come right back here and we'll check it out. But if the light doesn't come back on, don't worry about it. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, but that does make, it kind of does make sense. Like if there's nothing, if there is something wrong, the light will obviously like turn back on, like the sensor will kick in again. So hopefully either my car, it was just a glitch in the system. She said it was most likely just a glitch. So yeah, but anyway, so I'm finally at the mall. We're going to go get all the things I need for this weekend. I may vlog in there. I don't know. I'm still getting used to like vlogging in public. So but yeah, either way, I'll do a haul when I get back. Okay, bye. Hi again. So back home now, ate some food, got my life together. I still have to go back out and pick up my business card that I had made at Staples because they're not done yet. Um, they said they had until 8.30 p.m. So they were going to take all that time. So great. But anyway, so I fixed up Natasha's belt. I'm gonna try and do this without flipping it around. So I got some little like sticky Velcro pieces and stick, sticked, stuck those onto each side. So the belt will be a little tighter on my waist, give me more of a figure, so that'll be good. I'm contemplating if I wanna fix up the arms and legs. I might, I might not, I still do not know because Honestly, I kind of just want to be done with the projects, but at the same time, like I want it to fit me. So yeah, 
we'll see what happens. I might end up doing that. I might not. We'll just see how much like actually needs to be done because that's also a thing. So yeah, I'll touch base with you guys later. Bye. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of a different format, but I always like to keep these kind of things too, just to like look back on the stuff I've done. So it's a good like time capsule thing for me as well. So I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more of my cosplay adventures. And then I will see you next time, guys. Bye.